Today we will be talking about and learning about good citizens. After you've listened to me read this passage, you're going to answer the questions that follow. Being a good citizen in your community involves many things. It means caring about where you live. It means believing that all people in the community should be treated fairly. Being a good citizen also means telling the truth. What else makes a good citizen? The common good. What do you do at school when you see litter on the playground? Do you pick it up and put it in the trash can? If so, then you are acting for the common good. That means you're doing things, you're doing things that are good for everyone. Picking up trash keeps the playground clean. That makes it a nicer place for everyone in the school to enjoy. There are many other things you can do for the common good of your school and community. Good citizens find many ways to make the community a better place to live. Obey laws. Why are there rules in school? Rules help to make sure everyone is safe and has a chance to learn. Communities have rules too. These rules are called laws. Everyone in a community must obey the laws. They help keep people safe, just like the rules in your school. When people do not obey laws, there are consequences. Wearing a seatbelt in the car is one law citizens must obey. People driving cars must obey traffic laws. They cannot drive too fast and they must stop at stop signs and red lights. There are special laws for bicycles. These laws help keep drivers, bicycle riders, and pedestrians, people who are walking, safe. A person who doesn't obey these laws may get a ticket and a fine. A fine is money you pay as punishment for breaking a law. Vote. Citizens who care about their communities must vote. Voting gives people a chance to choose their leaders and make their voices heard. It is a right and a responsibility. Voters have the responsibility to learn about issues they are voting for. If you don't have all the facts, you may find out later that you voted for something you didn't want. In some countries, people are not allowed to vote. Americans are lucky to have a voice in our government. Keeping promises. Most elected leaders must take an oath of office before they start their jobs. An oath of office is a promise leaders make to do the best job they can and uphold the law. Elected leaders who do not keep their word may be removed from office. Serving on a jury. One important job American citizens have is to serve on a jury. A jury is a group of people who makes decisions about court cases. If you are chosen to be on a jury, you and the other jury members are responsible for making decisions that are fair and equal. To serve on a jury, you must be at least 18 years old and be able to read and write. Volunteer. Good citizens who want to give something back to the community can volunteer or donate their time to help others. Many people volunteer because they want to help others in need. There are many ways you can volunteer in your community. Food banks collect canned goods or deliver food to people in need. Other programs teach people to read. Some volunteers even build homes for people. The list of volunteer jobs is very long. If you want to give back to your community, talk to your parents about where you can volunteer. Someone will really appreciate your help. You will answer the following questions. What can you do at school for the common good? Which of the following is not a requirement to be on a jury? What makes a person a good citizen?